What's up, everybody? We're back with another product review here with the Acceptable Casualties. This is Joe. Today, we're going to be going over some Shogo Miniatures uh, magnet bases and movement trays. So, we'll be back in a second. I'll uh, give you guys a closer look at some of the stuff that I picked up and uh, how it works. All right. So, uh, here's kind of a brief overview of what I ordered from these guys. I've used them about five times now to do all my Ancients armies. Uh, I've done four in 15 millimeter and then one in 28 millimeter. Uh, the cool thing about this company right here and why I keep going back to them is their uh, mag base system and their trays. It's, it's just, it's really good quality stuff for a really good price. Um, they do all different sizes for magnetic bases and the uh, metal movement trays that you guys see right down here. You just go to their site and I'll post the uh, link at the end of the video or at the bottom in the description as well. Um, they have all different sizes for any kind of basing needs that you guys can think of in magnetic and non-magnetic. The uh, trays I have down here for the mag bases, but um, you can also get the non-mag trays and they have uh, flanged ends on three of the uh, four sides. So your, your non-magnetic uh, bases can just slide in there and slide out if you do uh, stuff like removing models or anything like that. So uh, down here, I'm just gonna give you guys a closer look. Uh, so this is, let me get that into focus, my cav unit for my uh, Imperial Romans. And on the bottom is the, uh, I guess what would be considered the movement tray, the, the steel plate that goes underneath it. I mean, this stuff, I mean, I'm, I'm shaking it off pretty good right here and it's not really even sliding. I mean, the, the, mag, the magnets for this system are really, really good. I had the same thing over there with uh, my Legionnaires as well. So um, <clears throat> yeah, really, really good. High quality stuff, the uh, the metal bases, I mean, they're steel, they're not gonna bend, they're not flimsy. The uh, magnets themselves as well, I mean, really high quality, really strong magnets as well. I think most of them you can uh, you can get for a really cheap price. Overall, I think I'm able to do most of my armies with the bases and the magnets for, uh, I wanna say 15 to 20 bucks. Then you throw in another five for shipping or so. Um, just to give you guys an idea, like I'll show you over here, I'll go back to my gaming case. Um, <clears throat> over on this side down here, so this is where I have my Romans, my uh, my Greeks that I'm still working on, and my Parthians over here. I have mag bases for all three of these armies, and I had two other armies prior to that, but I ended up selling them out. But um, all of these have the magnet bases and the movement trays attached to them, and uh, I think for all three armies combined, I might have spent 40 to 50 bucks, and that's with shipping included. So it's a... Uh, it's really a uh, really cheap, really good option to go with if you're looking to get into the uh, to mag bases for any of your armies. And I think it works better for Ancients, not so much with Flames of War and stuff like that, but I think you could still do it if you wanted to. Um, I'm trying to think some of the good things to point out with this. So I know, like, you know, for uh, for transport purposes, some of you guys like to use uh, battle foam bags and stuff like that. I mean, I like doing it for Flames of War, but for uh, for my Ancients, since it's just such a small number of bases, I don't want to shell out 50 bucks. So the easiest way for me to do it was... Uh, I got a shoe box. I got some sheet metal down from the hardware store and kind of just cut it to fit and then put it in there. And these bases, they, they don't move, man. You just slap them in there and you're good for transport doing it that way. Another way to do it too is go down to the hardware store and just get a metal uh, toolbox and throw those, uh, throw those bases on there too and they stick really well. So if you're looking for like a cheap option for transport uh, for any of your miniatures and stuff like that, with mag bases like this, I mean, it, you can do it for bases and transport for like under 30, 35 bucks and you'll, you'll be really good. So uh, this is Shogo Miniatures. I'll put the uh, the link for their website and uh, all the ordering and details and everything like that. You can go on there. It's a really easy website to navigate and look over the sizes. I think they do custom stuff as well for uh, movement trays and bases. So yeah, check them out. Really good company. Uh, probably do a couple more of these product reviews in the near future as well. So, you know, let me know what you guys think down in the uh, comment section. Thanks for watching.